This is your Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, December the 26th, the day after Christmas. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it's going to be a brisk, raw, cold day across central Alabama. Before we get started on the current weather, how about a look at how the Storm Prediction Center's Day 1 Outlook verified yesterday. The total as of this morning, and you got to remember these are preliminary numbers, four tornadoes in Texas, two in Louisiana, 13 in Mississippi, and 15 in Alabama now. These, some of these may be duplicates because a report comes in on a tornado and then another report comes in and they may get classified or they may get reported as two and they're, yet they're one. And there were 14 injuries in tornadoes on um, Christmas Day in Mississippi. And if that is not a miracle, I'm not sure what is with all the tornadoes you see there, all those little red dots, that is certainly a, a, a Christmas miracle if there ever was one. All right, well, there goes our storm system. Thank goodness that sucker is out of here, but it's going to be creating some problems for uh, the Carolina coastline. In the upper atmosphere, there goes the huge trough, the very deep trough, closed low, moving out of the Mid-South area today. And as it, that does, it's ushering in some very cold air with some light drizzle, perhaps even a few snow flurries mixed in. Temperature's not going to be changing much today. As a matter of fact, my high yesterday was my midnight temperature temperature 57. That's going to be the high for today. It occurred at midnight, so we've already seen the high. Today's temperature is basically going to be in the um, lower 40s for the most part. That storm system wreaking havoc all the way from just north and in the vicinity of Memphis all the way up into New England. All of those are winter storm watches, warnings, or mostly warnings, and those bright red areas are actually blizzard advisors and blizzard warnings. Now, the precipitation is essentially over for us, but we have another system headed our way, which is going to occur late Friday and into Saturday. Bottom line is that we're going to have another shot at, at perhaps around a half inch of rain. The storm system that brought us grief yesterday is now bringing some grief to the Carolina coastline, especially North and South Carolina. And you can see the moderate risk there, surrounded by a slight risk that extends all the way from Central Florida all the way up across much of uh, the Carolinas and into extreme eastern Virginia. Day two is quiet. Uh, we see just the possibility of a few showers or thunderstorms along the Texas coast. And then day three, we've got a sea text. Uh, once again, the possibility that we might see some severe storms along the Louisiana coast. The morning 06 CGFS uh, model run, and there is a look at our uh, upper air pattern and the closed low heading up across the Ohio River Valley and the surface low heading up along the Appalachians and, of course, giving a lot of winter weather to the area from uh, northeastern Arkansas all the way up to New England. And just to uh, quantify here that uh, we are looking at the possibility when you've got clouds and you've got moisture and the cold air is in here, you may see a few spits. Some of those may be light snow flurries or, you know, light snow for brief periods, but uh, certainly no accumulation. You can see that we have uh, 850 temperatures well below zero. All right, moving on to Thursday. There's the 27th, and we have a dry day with sunshine returning, but it's going to be cold. We'll start the day off in the upper 20s, and we'll see uh, highs probably in the upper 40s for the most part. We warm up a little more on Friday as the next trough approaches and puts us into a more southwesterly flow pattern, and uh, that brings much of the rain on Friday to our west, but I think that probably by late in the afternoon and into the evening hours, we'll see some showers or light rain over our area. The trough uh, comes closer on Saturday at uh, midday, and of course that means that we're going to see some rain, but the rain probably exiting by uh, early to mid-afternoon. On Sunday, we we'll have another break, so we get another ridge, but it'll be another chilly day. And then on Monday, the last day of 2012, uh, we see kind of a break, but uh, we certainly see a warm pattern there. And uh, we see also much of the rain still off to our west on the last day of 2012. And take an intermediate time just very quickly. The GFS, fairly aggressive on bringing some moisture and some showers, you know, up into the southeast 
eastern U.S., but generally, mostly um, to our west, the European, not nearly as bullish. As a matter of fact, at the same time, midnight, New Year's Eve, it looks like we see uh, on the European a dry pattern. We get into New Year's Day. And the trough begins to uh, uh, strengthen somewhat. And, of course, that should keep the front uh, or keep a front and keep us in a moist pattern and keep us also uh, mild uh, with showers on New Year's Day. So we could have a wet start to 2013. By the second day of the month, the trough is beginning to come by, and that brings in uh, some colder air as the moisture is ushered on out. Now, extending the forecast out into voodoo country, this is the fifth and there comes another weather system. And I think that's one of the important things we get from looking out at projections this far out is that the pattern remains very progressive with systems about every two to two and a half or three days. And then finally, around the 10th, boy, that's got a cold look to it as we see pretty much the long wave trough setting up over the... Um, central to eastern part of the country so that certainly has a bit of a nip to it and will keep us somewhat chilly if indeed it does come true well thanks for tuning into the weather extreme video i expect to have the next one posted first thing on thursday morning in the meantime i hope that your day after christmas is a good one and godspeed thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods. More people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.